This question just shows how important it is to always read the question and analyze the information uh, before attempting any question, right? Uh, because when I looked at 5.1.1, I'm like, okay, 5.1.1, we have cos of 2 theta, right? So I'm going to use a double angle identity here. I'm just going to say that uh, cos of 2 theta uh, is equals to 1 minus 2 sine of theta squared right so if i find sine of theta then it will be easy to find cos of uh, 2 theta but when i looked at the equation again i realized that the reflex angle itself is cos of 2 theta so for 5.1.1 i don't have to use a double angle identity right i can just say 5.1.1 uh, uh, we have cos of 2 theta being equals to the adjacent divided by the hypotenuse right because the angle itself is 2 theta that is given to us as the reflex angle right yeah uh, we're not given theta and then now we ask to find cos of 2 theta no we actually have the angle being 2 theta which is a very special case this is actually the first time i'm approaching equation and then we have something like this right so if we go ahead and calculate that uh, what is the adjacent the adjacent is the x value of the given point right so there we have uh, minus 3 so that will be equals to minus 3 divided by uh, the hypotenuse the hypotenuse uh, is r right so we can just go ahead and calculate that uh, with our point that is given to us right uh, so we can say our hypotenuse uh, so we can say r squared will be equals to x squared plus uh, y squared so r should be equals to um, what is x x is minus 3 so we have minus 3 uh, squared plus uh, minus 3 square root of 3 and then uh, squared everything to the power a half right we're taking square root on both sides and if you put that in your calculator you should get r uh, being equal to 6 so right now uh, we're just saying uh, let's not forget we're here so right now we're just saying that uh, cos of 2 theta is equals to minus 3 divided by 6 and then that will be equals to minus 1 divided by 2 and as simple as that we have solved our problem but then if you had not uh, analyzed the equation and realized that the reflex angle is 2 theta you are going to do something completely wrong right and then now let's do 5.1.2 and then for 5.1.2 this is where we are going to actually use a double angle identity and not 5.1.1 let me show you what i'm talking about right so we have sine of theta right but then even though we have sine of theta the angle given to us is 2 theta so we cannot say uh sine of theta will be equal to the opposite divided by the hypotenuse. we cannot do that because the angle given to us is not theta it is 2 theta that is our reflex angle right but then uh we can use the answer in 5.1.1 to find uh, the answer for 5.1.2 so we're going to introduce a double angle identity right uh we're going to say that cos of 2 theta will be equals to 1 minus 2 sine of theta squared right uh, now you should realize that we have cos of 2 theta uh, 1 is just a constant so if we are able to find sun squared of theta then we know what sun theta is right so let's go ahead and solve our problem so for cos of 2 theta we're gonna have uh, minus a half being equals to 1 minus uh, 2 sine of uh, theta squared right so now we just are uh, solving for sine of uh, theta squared so if we do that we're gonna get uh, minus a half minus 1 is equals to minus 2 sine of theta squared so let's just divide both sides by um, minus 2 so uh, this would imply that we would get a uh, sine of theta squared being equals to uh, minus 1 divided by 2 minus 1 divided by uh, minus 2 and uh, we should get 3 uh, divided by 4 right uh, being equals to sine of uh, theta squared so now we just take in uh, the square root on both sides uh, if we do that uh, we should get sine of theta 
is equals to uh, the square root of 3, right? Divided by the square root of 4. Uh, the square root of 4 is 2. So our answer for this question would actually be sine of theta is equal to the square root of 3 divided by the square root of 2. So all the time when you get a question like this, uh, don't rush to assume that uh, this angle here is theta. Always check and see if it's not 2 theta or anything else they can possibly give you.